Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. We are here in Dirtmouth, and at the end of the last episode I accidentally referred to this game as Hollow Nest instead of Hollow Knight. So, <laughs> still kind of chuckling at that one. Now, we met Hornet about a third of the way through the previous episode, and she had some interesting stuff to say. She seemed to be implying very strongly that our little warrior here is actually a ghost, or returned from the grave. And as a result of that conversation, in which she said, go find the grave in ash, it marked this spot on our map, the Black Egg Temple. That seems to mean that that's where we need to go next. At the same time, there was also a grave up here in the Howling Cliffs that I found at one point. So that might be worth checking out also. But yeah, first we're going to go to this Black Egg Temple and see what we can find there. And it's definitely faster to just walk straight there instead of taking the stag station. <sighs> Bapanada. Okay, so they still don't have anything <clears throat> new to buy. I don't have a lot of money left after buying that lamp. And the temple is to the right. But I do need to refill my soul energy. And ooh, it looks like I just got the the uh, journal entry for that thing. Here we go. These civilized bugs of Hallow Nest were weak in life, and now they are equally weak in death. Send them back into the dirt they were born in. Okay, that's got me up to half soul power. That should be enough for now. Or, hey, I can just get more. Almost full, not quite. And here's what I'm looking for. Temple of the Black Egg. That's just kind of odd, though. Hornet mentions the Grave of Ash, and then the game specifically marks this place on our map, and yet it doesn't seem like there's anything here yet. I guess it's just a, a broad hint that we need to find those three markings. Okay, so I guess we need to find the grave in ash. But where would that be? Hmm. Well... I 
I can think of another possible place. There's an area with a... There's an area off to the right with a breakable floor that we weren't able to break before. You know, for obvious reasons, I mean. We didn't have the break, break open floors power. We do now. There's also that place off to the left below the area that leads to green path. But then again, up even further. In the Howling Cliffs. Like I mentioned, we did find that grave. So that's definitely worth investigating, I think. There we go. temporary life. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like this is the direction we need to go. So far, so good. Howling Cliffs. And I'm not entirely certain where I need to go. I think it's a little bit further ahead, though. Ah, ha, ha. Gorb the Great Mine. need any soul energy. I'm not full. Wait a second. Is this what that, um, 
what the cartographer was talking about? A the warrior on at the top of the cliff. This isn't exactly the top of the cliff though. Hmm? Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great Nail Sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Learn the Master's nail art? Sure. <laughs> Mastered the Cyclone Slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down. Huh. <laughs> so basically, the Legend of Zelda Spin Slash. Your form, exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Bam. Finder. You're welcome. Okay. says hold up or down. That doesn't seem to do anything though. If I don't hold either direction, same thing happens. Bam. Finder. Okay. Hmm. That's just kind of weird. Okay, so I can I can move about while holding the power. Oops. Huh. That seemed to make more money, too. Interesting. <laughs> All right, well, that was an interesting find. Not what I was looking for. Won't complain about it though. Oh, wait a second. He's holding that little lamp I bought. That's cute. <laughs> I like it. off to the right down below me and then this area extends further to the left I guess
Ah! Darn. Finally, the bottom. Look, there's one of those weird tree like things that I can't do anything with. And there's the sound of something shining nearby. I don't think it was this. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. That sounds ominous. Wanderer's Journal. Another one of those. Okay. So apparently those are just sold to that guy in the City of Tears for money. King's Idol? What's that? Uh... Oh. A white idol depicting the King of Hallowness. These, the elusive king was worshipped through these idols. Relic from Hallowness Pass. The item now holds a little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. So something else I can sell to that guy. Okay, I guess I don't want to go that way? Eh, it's been a while since I saved, so I won't take the chance. But maybe sometime later. So I want to go up and check out that area off to the right. there. Not quite there, but almost. Just a bit higher. So this is the cartographer's place, is it? Hmm. Oh, this was a dark area. But now I can see.
see what's up there. I wouldn't have wanted to have to traverse this place in the dark, that's for sure. Opened up that shortcut. This is a pretty area. Joni's Blessing. So is this some kind of memorial or grave? I happen to be looking for a grave. That looked more like a charm than anything else. Wow, four notches needed for this. Transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The bearer will have a healthier shell and can take more damage, but they will not be able to heal themselves by focusing soul. Blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic. Transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. So then, how do you heal damage? It doesn't really make much sense. Well, I can't try it out until I find a bench. And the more, the closest bench is quite a distance away. So, if I remember correctly, Hornet said I was looking for the Grave in Ash. So, does that mean a grave in a location called Ash, or a grave in some kind of ashy area? Hmm. 
Well, the question then becomes, where could it be? Ah. It seems to me, oops, the answer is likely some place I couldn't get before without the dive power. Now that I have the desolate dive, there are a few new places I can open up. That seems like the most likely candidate. I've tried pretty much everything else. can break open new places. I keep forgetting the name of that power. Desolate Dive. Desolate. Now that I have the desolate dive, for example, I can go back to that mine, that mining area on the eastern side of the Forgotten Crossroads. looking. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Fury of the Fallen. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. Uh, I could see the use of that, but I don't like basing a strategy around being almost dead. <laughs> I prefer to be in good health. So I don't think I'll be using that very much. Now back to dirt mouth. Do you have anything new to say? Madaula. Did you see the tall cliff beyond the town of Grand Yard? That's only the base of a much larger peak. There's mines and machinery and all sorts of valuable rock forms inside. Many a traveler through Dirtmouth headed straight for it. 
Now that's interesting. just being a location where I got that charm. Yeah, interesting. Well, I was going down... I was going to go down into the Forgotten Crossroads. But now that he mentions a cliff beyond the graveyard, have to keep that in mind, I suppose. I was thinking I could climb the cliff by jumping up it. No, apparently not. Alright. Where was that mine? It was somewhere off to the east, but I don't remember exactly where. Well, actually, before I do that, I want to go to the west to where all those worms live. See if I can get something new. I think I've only saved one or two more, but eh, maybe they'll drop some money. More money is always useful. shot these little guys now. Wow. That's some good money there. Grub song. Another charm? Contains the gratitude of freed grubs. Gains soul when taking damage. Well... I guess that could come in handy, yeah. You know, I... Really, I get enough of it just for beating enemies up. I saw a beam of light coming from the ceiling and I just thought maybe there's something there. Yes indeed. Good money there. What are these things? I keep finding them and I can't do anything with them. probably become important later. Alright, so let's try to find that mine where I had the break the floor that I couldn't break before. Definitely somewhere in this direction.
go over here, go down, and then try to the right. over here? I don't know. What was over here? One of these guys. Oh, it was guarding one of those grubs. Well. That was a pointless endeavor. Except that I got a lot of money for it, so I guess that helped. Oh, this must be the place. Wasn't there someone singing here before? Bury my body, cover my shell, what meaning in darkness, yet here I remain. I'll wait here forever till light blooms again. The eyes are going orange. Huh. I don't like that. What was off to the left here? Oh, just one of these things. Oh yeah, because I need to use my soul power to break the floor up here, so if I don't have any, that's a place to refill. Okay, Crystal Peak. not to be able to get back up. Looks like I'm committed. Okay, then. There's a crystal floating in the air. That's kind of ominous. That's even more ominous. Okay. I can only hit him from the front. His backside is too well protected. Whoa. So this is some kind of active mod. Looks like it ought to be a place I can go up, except I can't jump high enough to get a wall jump started. Uh, 
so that miner from before really is getting possessed. That's some good range on those things, I gotta say. below that said there's a bench that way. Not as noisy in here. Aha! I wonder if Cornifer is in here. He's bent! I've, whoa. Everywhere else. Obviously, I don't want to step on those crystals. There must be spikes. This area version of spikes. Yeah, I don't have a map yet. Okay. <laughs> I can just hang onto the wall there. Ow. Ah. That was uh, damage. Deflect it with my nail? That was pretty awesome. I didn't even try. I just got lucky. Okay, I'm not interested in taking this any further. I'm heading back. map for this area. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> I have to come from the top of it. Oh no. That wasn't too cool. 
above we have normal spikes. That's damage. Aha! Corner for fate. Uh, I don't think it's this way. It must be up here. Come to scale the mountain. I've heard tale. I've heard tale of a summit way up there. Too far for me though, and I'm not really one for heights. How did you get all the way up here then? Because there's a, a 
gate ray right there just waiting to slam shut behind me. Let's do some more exploring first. Keeper, are we talking about? A small brass key made in the likeness of a shopkeeper. So it's just that the key looks like a shopkeeper, not that it belongs to any particular shopkeeper. Quiet here. Quieter, at least. Karel? Nah, me no bis. Ah, quite a view, no? I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating if not for your small stature. <laughs> Did it sadden you to see those miners below still laboring at their endless task? Yeah, a bit, yeah. Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy, not as powerful as the soul the city dwellers harnessed, but far less lethal. Strange to know such ancient facts. I wonder from where my knowledge comes. From a book? From gossip? That's where such things usually come. That's going to be difficult.
range on their melee attack. Oh wait, I can break this floor. Well, before I do that... might not be as difficult as I thought. Wanderer's Journal. Not really worth it. like this that are opening, usually you've already seen them from the side you couldn't open before. Check out the openable floor. Was it in here? No, it was further up. Soul energy is completely empty. Fantastic. Forgot about that. Last, though. There we go. That should be enough for two blasts. Oh, didn't want to go down.
that's an egg. For all the good that does. I wonder what good it does do. What's even the point of those things? Room. Yep. I'm not willing to go in there yet. And yeah, we're a bit past the one hour mark. So I need to find some place where I can save or something. down, I can get to that bench at the bottom of the map. that guy. Alright, keep going down. I'll get to that bench. I can save there.
Alright. Whew. That was quite the adventure. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to check out that boss fight up above, where that other bench is. And I have quite a ways out to go also. Quite a ways further out to go. Huh, and two ways back to the Forgotten Crossroads. Looks like the one way that I came in, and then another way that I might be able to go out, maybe? I'll have to see. Well, that's for next time, viewers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Hollow Knight. Later.